the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, today we've got a few shower chances, very low risk for severe weather. Today, one or two storms may become pulse severe with quarter size hail, 60 mile an hour winds. Tomorrow is that higher end risk day. Today between about two and eight, once we get to the peak heating of the day, a few of these storms may flare up the core strong enough to produce a little wind and hail. Out in the panhandle, also the chance for a few storms. Now tomorrow, uptick in the threats. Tomorrow between four o'clock and midnight, we'll try to get storms to flare up ahead of the dry line. Still some question is in exactly where that dry line sets up the better or worse if you want to call it dynamics for big time severe storms is going to be up into Kansas into northern Oklahoma although we'll still have storms that'll be possible of threatening large hail damaging winds and tornadoes further to the south and southwest so we'll get into the threats for everything and the timing of this looking at the very latest data it's coming up in just a minute today we're tracking rain down in Texas the good rain for central southern east Texas lifting slowly to the north those kind of outer bands of that system will have a chance to bring us showers and storms mainly well east of I-35 later today. It's 70 degrees on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. Looking great in Guthrie. We've got lower 70s across most of the state and those southeast winds are pretty calm right now. It really is very pleasant to be out and about. Here's your, temp your temperature forecast into the afternoon back into the 80s. Cloud cover stays pretty thick. We will have a 30% chance of rain here in Oklahoma City and again any storm later today may pulse up and briefly become severe. Not out of the question. 83 in Tulsa, 81 in Oklahoma City, 70s down in southeast Oklahoma. You got sunshine out west, and you'll be hotter today, mid, even some upper 80s in the far west with a 30% chance of rain, 40% chance from Tulsa to Ada to Ardmore. Most likely area for rain is in the far east, also way out in the the Oklahoma Panhandle and the Texas Panhandle later today. Overnight tonight, we drop down into the 60s, and I do think we'll have storms move in overnight tonight in western Oklahoma. Those will be weakening and falling apart tomorrow morning. We look dry here in Oklahoma City. And what we're watching for is this storm system coming out from the west. The one that was over Texas lifting north, that low is getting disorganized. It's going to be absorbed in the jet stream to the north. It's actually being impacted by the complex of storms from yesterday and overnight. It's kind of stabilized Oklahoma for the current situation. Now we're watching this storm though, and this thing keeps coming off towards the east, makes its way down I-40 towards Oklahoma. Jet stream winds really start to pick up out west and into northwestern Oklahoma by tomorrow afternoon, and eventually everything comes together where storms will try to flare up. So future next gen into the afternoon and evening, a few spotty showers, a few weak thunderstorms, storms taken off in the panhandle, and then tonight, the storms try to make it in from the southwest. They fall apart tomorrow morning, looking at the latest data, and then we have a chance to warm up. We get hot, we get unstable, and eventually storms try to fire along and ahead of the dry line. Some data suggests it's a little farther back to the west, some data suggests it's a little farther to the north. So really, it's a pretty broad zone where storms are going to be possible, but that does include the Oklahoma City Metro for late tomorrow evening, and everything continues to make its way off towards the east and weekend. May have some additional storms down to the south, not locked in. Highs tomorrow, 70s and 80s. So when you look at all the data, it's a 40% chance that we see storms tomorrow from Hobart to Clinton to Oklahoma City, Alva, Enid, Ponca City, Stillwater. Stay weather aware, make your plans, but make sure you have ways to get your watches, your warnings, the News 9 app. Make sure that you're plugged into the forecast later today as all these zones are fine-tuned, but it does look like they're slightly higher than a low, so a moderate threat for tornadoes tomorrow from Alva to Enid to Kingfisher, El Reno, Chickasha, Fort Cobb, including the Oklahoma City Metro back up to Stillwater and up into Ponca City. Now, does that mean that we'll see multiple tornadoes in here? No, it does not, but I think these storms will be rotating, and as they move further into central Oklahoma into the evening hours, the low-level jet kicks in. Those storms could produce one or two tornadoes, and they may be uh, not necessarily the brief tornadoes. Some longer tor track tornadoes would be possible if they can form. So we're going to monitor it. For tomorrow, as far as hail is concerned, quarter, golf ball, maybe tennis ball size hail, and also the threat for damaging winds will be present with every Every one of these storms, they're going to have a lot of energy with them as they are riding through the state. Then we see a kind of downtick in storms on Friday, slight chance for severe weather, and then widespread rain for your weekend. And we're back to this.